Hello and welcome to today's lecture. This lecture is a critical analysis on Lakta Vikram Singha's the poem, The Poet. So this is actually our third lecture on a series of lectures entitled Lakta Vikram Singha and his poetry. And before we engage in a critical analysis of this poem, first let's go to a reading of it. The poet by Lakta Vikram Singha. He is the one that tossing a bomb into the crowd takes notes. The one who, from an unseen distance, levels on the tripod that black rifle with sights that see as far as his soul, trains and levels, maneuvers for a clear sight of the speaker on the platform, waits, watching the clock for the onset of a car in the left corner of its back seat carrying the enemy. The poet is the one who is always preparing the ambush, the one who covers with layers of earth and grass and worn feet the spiked pit and watches from the level of weeds ahead. The poet is the bomb in the city, unable to bear the circle of the seconds in his heart, waiting to burst. Now let's go to a critical analysis of this poem. So in this poem, we can understand that Vikram Singha clearly establishes what the role of the poet is. And he emphasizes on the poet's role as a rebel, his political consciousness, and his revolutionary role in society. And therefore he uses very unconventional, metaphorical or figurative images to, to describe the role of the poet, which he should ideally play throughout this entire poem. So now let's go to line by line analysis. So he starts the poem by saying, he is one that tossing a bone into the crowd takes notes. So from the very beginning of the poem, we can understand that he builds this very powerful visual image in the reader's mind about the poet. Because he incorporates these evocative and rich visual images by imagining the poet as a terrorist who tosses a bomb into the crowd and then takes notes. And then he continues on to say, the one who from an unseen distance levels on the tripod that black rifle with sights that see as far as his soul. And then he deliberates or even hypothesizes that the poet is perhaps a sniper who is looking, who is looking for a shot by leveling his black rifle on a tripod. And then you see that the image clearly shifts and this shifts to that of trains and levels, manuals for a clear sight of a speaker on the platform. So the image shifts to a camera looking for a clear sight of a speaker in a platform, and then to an assassinator who hides and baits with the rifle till the right time comes to shoot his enemy from the back seat. And then he continues on to say, the poet is the one who is always preparing the ambush, the one who covers with layers of earth and grass and worn feet, the spiked pit and watches from the level, level of weeds ahead. So he says that the poet is always prepared for the ambush. Ambush is, ambush is like a surprise attack from a concealed position. So what is important is what he tries to convey by all these verses. So we understand that what he tries to convey is about this destructive function of the poet. In a way, he strongly conveys the poet's role and says that the poet's role is actually to navigate and push through the boundaries and limitations. However, he also states that this should be done in a very careful and meticulous way. Because in the poem, he talks about how the poet needs to be prepared for an ambush and he how the poet should be ready to perform his role as a sniper and then as an assassinator and so on and so forth. So because of this, we can actually say that Vikram Sinha is perhaps attempting to convey that Though a poet should be destructive in his role, in his verses, in order to achieve a positive change, he should also exercise caution. And this caution should be exercised in terms of utilizing the power of verbal rhetoric. For the poet should not dilute his poetic message in fear of authorities, 
or even in fear of exposing unbearable and uncomfortable truths because of the political consciousness of the writer, because the poet has a very revolutionary role to play in the urban, the urban society. And then he continues on to say, the poet is the bulb in the city, unable to bear the circle of the seconds in his heart, waiting to burst. Again, you see that he emphasizes on the poet's political function and then about the poet's political consciousness. So here we can understand that for Vikram Sinha, the poet's function or the role is extremely rev revolutionary because it is always destructive considering the kind of metaphorical images that he uses are deliberately violent and destructive because that is clearly what he wants to emphasize and that is the destructive function of the poet, the revolutionary role of the poet, etc. However, we also have to understand that it is actually not conveyed in a negative sense, though he is using all these metaphorically rich images which are quite violent, because he, for, for Vikram Sinha, the political function of the poet is what is considered to be essential or extremely vital. And he wants to put forward a very subversive notion, that means a challenging notion, that the poet is actually the enemy of a very exploitative, immoral and cruel society, which he must resist and struggle against. So therefore, we can even say that for Vikram Sinha, the poet is depicted as an individual with agency who raises his voice of dissent and resistance against the injustices and inequalities of the society. So with these kinds of unconventional visual images, we can even say that Lakdas of Vikram Sinha emphasizes on the active participation and involvement of the poet in taking part in this mechanism of achieving social change. Because for Vikram Sinha, the poet is like a catalyst capable of using his creative production in order to address pressing social issues, advocating for justice, challenging the status quo, mobilizing public sentiments towards realizing positive, change, positive causes, and ultimately, achieving social change through his verses, through his writing, or through his poetry. So we can even say that Lakdas Rikmasinha accentuates on the ability of the poet to make such a large scale impact and difference in society by creating and reforming thoughts, attitudes, feelings, and emotions. So with that, we come to the end of this critical analysis of Lakdas Rikmasinha's The Poet. Thank you very much for listening.